everyone, my name is Katie Ward and I'm a second year student here at Mark Community College and this is my three year old Philly Oakley. Um, so, Oakley here, I want to tell you guys a little bit about her. I brought her in this year as my, as my cult to use in our cult starting class. She was a rescue. I adopted her about a year and a half ago. She came from the Pender County Humane Society and then she was taken to the Cape Fear Equine Rescue. And I adopted her, I saw her, and I wondered what her story was. She had a huge gash on the side of her face and she was so young. And I was looking for a cult to start anyway because I didn't have one. So they were telling me her story, how she was only two years old and she was just abandoned out in a pasture. The woman that cared for them just couldn't care for them anymore. And so I decided to take her home and made her mine. So I kind of turned a rescue into a horse that was actually gonna have a purpose and have something to do with her life. So now she's coming along great. She's had over 30 rides and I'm actually gonna turn her into a trail horse and a lesson horse for my mom and for other children because she's so sweet and she just loves to work for people. So today what I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you one of the steering exercises that we learned in our cult starting class called line driving. And what line driving does is it teaches them how to steer both directions and to turn before you get on their back. So that way you don't get on their back and, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with my horse now. So what we're going to do is our lunge lines here, they become our reins. So I'm going to come on this side of her, I'm going to make sure that I have one in both Always keep a hold of her in hand so that way she doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to turn her this way so you can see. I'm going to take my blue lunge line here. I'm going to stick it through her stirrup. You always want to make sure that your stirrups are tied together whenever you do this exercise because if your stirrups are flopping all over the place, one, it can't simulate how it would feel on her side so that way she gets that directness. And two, it won't keep your lines in place. So you can't really have any sort of control over her while she's going anywhere. So now I'm gonna take my blue line. I'm not gonna lay it on the ground or anything. I'm gonna lay it right here on her back so that way I can go ahead and grab a hold of it whenever I go to her other side. So we're gonna leave that there. I'm gonna come to her other side. I'm going to take this line. I'm still going to have a hand on her rein, so that way I have control of her. Now her reins are tied through her pommel, so that way she's only get the direct pull from my lunge lines. Because the lunge lines are simulating what my hands would feel like. I'm going to clip it to this side of her bit. Now I have her left rein, and I have my right rein. She knows exactly what to do. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and steer her this way. Now whenever you start steering with a colt, colts only know what a direct rein is. Whenever we ride horses, we know that we have direct and indirect reins, so our inside rein and our outside rein. But whenever, how do you start that? So a colt, if you pull them to the left, they're going to go to the left. If you pull them to the right, they're going to go to the right. Because that's all that they understand. So whenever I guide her on these lines here, Say I want her to turn left. I'm going to keep my right rein here. I'm going to take my left rein. I'm going to pull her to the left. And I'm going to let her go so she gets that release. Now one question I'm sure is because she's a horse. Why am I so close behind her? We've always been taught don't stand so, far, so close behind them. If I'm too far away from her then I don't have any control. But I'm still far enough away that she can't kick me. So if I want her to turn a circle, I'm going to keep directing her with my inside rein, which is my blue lunge line, just with little pulls to make her go in a circle. And then whenever I'm ready for her to go straight, I'm going to come back behind her. I'm going all in this dark spot. <laughs> So what we do is we teach them how to go in circles, we teach them straight lines. And all of this is to prepare them so that way whenever we get on their backs, we have a better understanding of where they're going to be at. And so that way they understand whenever you pull on your left rein, you want me to go left. And 
And so we teach them to go ahead and we say, whoa, and they stop and stand. Whoa. There we go. And then we can go and teach them to back up. Just like you would under saddle, you give them even pressure with both reins. Cool. Cool. Good girl. Walk. Good girl. So pretty much we do every exercise, just about everything that you would do for your first couple of steering rides whenever you first get on them, because you're going to walk, you're going to trot, all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and ask her for the trot. And what we're going to do for the trot is I'm just going to stay with her, I'm going to club to her, and I'm going to swing my reins a little bit on her side so that way she gets that sensation of the stirrup sitting on her side just like it would be if you were under saddle. All right, so trot. Come on. Good girl. And when I want her to turn, I'm going to do just like I did at the walk. I'm going to give her little pulls with my inside rein. Just pull and release. We're going to go and change her direction. So I change my direct rein to my blue line. And this whole time, I want to be sure that I stay with her so that way I don't lose control of her, that she knows to keep going, and so that way she knows my body position is just as important as hers. If we're going straight, I'm going to stay behind her, and if we're going to turn, I'm going to come at a little bit of an angle. And wool. Good girl. And back. Good girl. Walk. <coughs> wool. So then, whatever I want to take them off of her. I'm going to come right up here, make sure that I have a hold of her, <coughs> make sure that I have a hold of her. I'm going to run my lines back through my stirrups, run my line back through the stirrup. So now she's completely free, not completely free. <laughs> I'm going to do, undo one of her reins. So that way now I have a hold of her. I'm going to move her out of the way of these lines. All right, and so that's how we line drive. Line driving is such an essential key for starting colts. It teaches them so much before you actually get on them. If I hadn't have if I hadn't have taught her how to do this beforehand, our first couple of rides would not have gone so well. She wouldn't understand what the pressure was coming from the sides of her mouth. She wouldn't understand anything about steering or stopping for that matter. So it's such an essential tool for everything that we've learned here. And it's the foundation for all of riding. And so while I've been a student here at Martin Community College, I'm about to graduate in a couple of days as a matter of fact. And I've been taking my equine training degree and I've been taking my equine business degree. Not only is the training degree so important, but so is the business degree. If anything were to ever happen, I'd have something to fall back on. And it's helped me realize what I want to do. What she, what she embodies, she's a little rescue that I turned into something. And so that's really what I want, that's what I want to do for my life. So not only is the equine training degree so important, but so is the equine business degree. Without that, without that degree, I wouldn't be able to go and start my dream job that I am this summer. 
this summer I'm going to be opening up my own management barn. So I'm going to be having room for boarders. I'm going to be, be bringing in lesson kids, all of that kind of good stuff. And without the knowledge from the business degree, I wouldn't know how to run my own business. I wouldn't know how to protect myself, how to protect others, all of that good stuff. And not only that, but also do what I really want to do and bring in the rescues just like her, bring in the rescues to give them new homes, to train them, to turn them into something that they weren't once before. I mean, she was a wonderful two-year-old horse that wouldn't have had a future if someone hadn't have come in and given her a chance. And that's what all of them deserve. All of them that just haven't had the proper start in life. And so now she's got the chance to have a future that she didn't have once before.